So it's finally here. <laughs> Completely catching me off guard. I was on YouTube today for some reason. Out of the blue was like, I need to check the new trailers. And holy be Jesus, Batman, Captain Marvel was here. The Marvel movie planned to be released March 8th has its first official trailer. Yes! Let's not waste time and check this one out, all right? Let's get to it. Nice. Ah, oh, late fees are back. <laughs> War is a universal language. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Hmm. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space invasion. Big car chase. Truth be told, I was ready to hang it up <laughs> until I met you today. Oh, well, there he is. So you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. I think I had a life here. But I can't tell if it's real. No idea what threats are out there. <laughs> what? <laughs> we can't do this alone. I might punch the old lady. We oh. Need you. oh. I'm not what you think I am. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Hell yeah. Yeah, Marvel does it again while DC cries about their next Superman. At first with this green costume, I was like, oh, this isn't DC, she's not the Lantern. But then you can see the red and blue and she's all like, Urgh. I was like, oh man, she lights up, it's so freaking awesome. <laughs> wow. So I don't know much about this movie. I'm not even going to lie to you, I really don't even know who all these characters in the trailer even are. But I do know Captain Marvel set in the 90s. Stars Brie Larson as Carol Danvers, an ex-U.S. Air Force fighter pilot. As she journeys to become Captain Marvel after receiving the DNA of the Kree. While at the same time, on Earth, it's getting caught up in the middle of an interstellar war between two, count them, two different alien worlds. Borrowing heavily from the elements of the storyline from the 1971 comic book series, Kree, Scroll War. So it sounds like the Kree and the Scroll. The Kree, Scroll War is about Captain Marvel arriving to Earth after being trapped within a negative zone, an alternate dimension. The trailer here looks to be playing heavily on that, and the memory loss that Danvers receives after. It's touched on a few times as she says that she feels like she had a life here before. It also was heavy on the backstory of Vision and Scarlet Witch, which I don't think is going to be the case here. Figuring last time we saw him, well, you know. And Vision, well, he's even yet to be alive during this time period. But I do think we may get to see more of Michael Douglas as Hank Pym and Ant-Man. Here, since Henry Pym is actually a large part of the Kree Scroll War, and would sit perfectly in this time period. So there may be more de-aging effects than just Nick Fury. And maybe, just maybe, it will somehow lead Captain Marvel to Scott, who's currently trapped within the Quantum Realm. Of course, it's all speculation at this time. I really don't know anything except Larson as Captain Marvel, but the movie also stars Samuel L. Jackson, of course, as Nick Fury, as well as you can see Ben Middleson, Jude Law, and that guy from The Guardians that I can't pronounce his name. Anyways, guys, March 8th. Who's ready? Hit me up in the comments below and let me know what you're excited about. And as always, subscribe and join the quest. Hey.